Why are properties in Singapore so expensive? Hi, welcome to this episode of The Property Talk Show. And in today's episode, we'll be talking about why are Singapore properties so expensive? Now, in relation to this, in the last two years, we have seen huge price increase in the HDB market as well as the private resale market and also among new launches as well. So the question is, is the government losing control? Are they really taking care of the people? Why is it so expensive and so difficult to afford? So in this episode, we're going to deep dive in all these topics. So first and foremost, the very first thing you need to know is that the government definitely know what they're doing. In fact, the government is in control. Now, what do I mean? Let's look at this article here. Right, it's a private housing supply cut due to COVID-19 fallout. Okay, this was an article that was published in the Straits Times in 2020. And in this article, it's very clear to show you that the government decided to cut the supply. Now, when government decided to cut the supply, this meant that for developers who are hungry for land, they would have to bid more competitively to get the land that they want. So when it comes to this, let's think about this, right? Is that when the government lower the supply and there's a huge demand for developers, that would naturally bring the price up. And of course, the opposite is true, right? The government could have chosen to increase the supply, provide more land for sale, and therefore softening the market price. But let's look at what happened recently. Now recently, after the cooling measures were implemented, the very next day, the government announced that they're going to release 13 sites for government land sales. Now, 13 sites is actually not a lot, right? In comparison to 2018, there were more than 50 over new launches that were launched in that very year. So 13 sites is really not a lot. So once again, developers would have to bid more aggressively in order to ensure that they're one of the lucky winners of these 13 land plots. So this is where we have to look at the bigger picture. Right, this chart that you see here, this actually obtained from the URA website, so you can go and find this for yourself as well. This is the chart showing you the new supply of completed private condos and ECs. Right, in short, these are all the upcoming new launches that will obtain TOP that buyers can move into. So you can see that these are the amount of units that are going to be completed in all the years that they are stated here. Right, and even notice that there will be a pattern. Right, you can see that. This is where the supply went down. Subsequently, the supply went up and eventually the supply would go down again. So let's think back what happened last year. Last year, there were only 2,100 over newly completed projects in the market. With only this little amount of new supply, this meant that for resale buyers, they had lesser choices. That is the reason why many resale buyers turn Right, to buy more of the older developments and they were willing to pay higher prices because they had nowhere else to buy. So effectively, the government knew that this is the time whereby there will be lesser supply and price will go up. And let's look at this. It is a pattern. And with this pattern, what it means is that every few years, you would have the price going up and subsequently, as there are more supply coming in, the price would eventually soften down. So this is where in the next few years, you can expect resale market price to soften down because of the increased supply in the resale market. So of course, when it comes to this, we have to look at the even bigger picture, right? Because when the government is controlling the supply, what is their ultimate goal? Their ultimate goal is to ensure that the property market remains vibrant, whereby we can still make profits from property market as long as we know how to invest carefully. So let's look at this chart over here. In this chart, you can see that there is a 164% growth in the last 20 years for the private resale market. So imagine 20 years ago, you bought something at this point, right? Of course, it went up and eventually it did crash as well. This was during the Lehman Brothers crisis. You may have lost a little bit of money here and there, but imagine if you didn't sell. Imagine if you didn't sell out of panic. You would have continued to possibly make more profits Especially even when, you know, in times whereby there were lesser people buying, you can see right here that the transaction volume actually went down. There were still prices that were going up, right? So as an overall market, 
Imagine this is an average of about 8 over percent per annum. Isn't that a good investment return? So one of the key reasons why the government is doing this is because, let's not forget, the government also have a vested interest in the property market as well. Right, because the government also have their own property portfolios that they are investing in. And of course, they also want to maintain Singapore as an attractive location for foreigners to invest in. And definitely, they also want to benefit local Singaporeans as well. So for Singaporeans, if you know how to spot the right property to buy, then that is where you can possibly increase your profit by knowing when to actually sell when the government decrease the supply of completed properties in the market. So of course, the next question that many people have on their mind is that can Singaporeans really afford to buy? So let's look at the most recent cooling measures. It says that Singapore announces new property cooling measures whereby there are higher ABST rates and more importantly, tighter loan limits. When we come to this tighter loan limit, it means that for TVSR, it's been revised from 60% to 55%. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about here, just click on the link around this video to actually watch back my previous video whereby I went more in-depth into the property coding measures. So, in a nutshell, this tightening of the loan limits means that the government want people to be more prudent in terms of their purchases. So, compared to the past, your maximum loan amount is now reduced. So, this is to ensure that whatever private property that you go for, it is definitely within your means to buy and it will be comfortable for you to afford your monthly installments. So right now, in my opinion, this is also an era of the new rich. So what do I mean by an era of the new rich? Is that people are making money through very new ways such as selling NFT art. Right, you can see that people are making millions from selling NFT arts in Singapore. And that is where, you know, the big question is what is NFT? Now, NFT is basically non-fungible tokens, right? So you can actually buy digital artwork that is unique with a serialized code and you can sell it online to make profits. And of course, it's not just NFTs, but also for cryptocurrency as well. So in fact, one of the big news recently is that there's a crypto billionaire who is buying a 49 million good class bungalow for the three-year-old child. And when we say the buying in trust, it means that this 49 million have to be paid in full cash. Now let's think about this. Why does a billionaire want to put money into a property for a three-year-old child? Is it because the rich know something that you don't? Is it because they know that the government is in control? So for this 49 million GCB, could it be possible that 10 years later, 20 years later, this would still be 49 million? Or would it be worth more than that? It could be 60 million, 70 million, or even more, isn't it? So in terms of this, let's learn from the rich. We can actually see that even though we may not be a billionaire here, but we can put money into the property market and see it grow over time, precisely because we have faith that the government is constantly in control. So as long as you buy the right property, you don't rush in impulsively, then that is where as long as you get a suitable property for yourself, it is possible to actually make the profit that you want, to leverage on these profits because you know that the government is in control and they will help you to make the money that you want. So of course, uh, in the property market, there are a lot of people who also leverage on the resale profits. So what you see here is a private resale chart. And I want to bring the attention to the last one year, whereby you can see that the transaction volume actually increased, right? And other than that, the overall price also increased as well. So this is where you can see that there are a lot of private resale sellers who made a lot of profits and they could now use this profit to reinvest back into the property market so as to be able to buy another house that would make even more money for them. And of course, it's not just the private resale market. In fact, in the HDB resale market as well, it's the same thing whereby more people are buying, right? you can see the increased volume. And you can also see that in terms of the price wise, it has also been a very positive year for the HDB visa market in the past one year. And this is caused by a lot of BTO buyers who forfeited their BTOs because of the delays caused by COVID-19. So they turned to the visa market and as a result, it drove up the demand and thereby driving up the visa price. So this is where a lot of HDB sellers also leverage on their profits to be able to upgrade into the private condo of their dreams. So this is the reason why the government is confident knowing that Singaporeans are able to leverage 
on the way how the government controlled the market and by leveraging on these profits, this is where more money will be eventually pumped back into the property market as well. So that's where, you know, when it comes to affordability, it's really not a big issue, right? It's how probably your neighbor, your friends, your colleague could also have afforded the private property that they bought recently. So to conclude, the overall property price will still keep going up over time because the government is always in control. Of course, there are certain times whereby we may not be 100% in control, especially due to a pandemic and due to unforeseen reasons, we might see economy crashes, we might see that you know there's a lot of global financial crisis going on and that may affect property prices as well. But in recent years, it has been pretty much well kept under control. Right? In fact, many people expected the property market to crash because of COVID, but it didn't. Okay, so that is where my advice to you is that buy to wait, don't wait to buy. And that is because the best time to buy was always yesterday. Right, so I believe you have heard a lot of people saying that, oh, had I known I should have bought five years ago, 10 years ago, whatever I bought last time would have made money now. Then my question back to you is that, then why are you not taking action? Have you actually taken action for yourself to enter the market, to buy something and see it grow more profit for you? So of course, it's not easy to buy a property. There are so many things that you have to take note of, so many things that you need to know before you can commit to any property. Right, so if you want to know how to do all this, simply click on the link in the description below to claim your free consultation from me, whereby I'll be offering you this free consultation to share with you how to buy a property, how to invest, and how to make sure that it is safe for you. Right, and this free consultation is exclusively for you because you're my YouTube audience. And of course, don't forget to leave a comment as well. Let me know what you think about this video. And also don't forget to like this video, click on the subscribe button, and also click on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever I have a new content. So that's the end of this episode of the Property Talk Show and I look forward to see you in the next episode. Take care, see you around.